Alright, let's talk about how to get a guaranteed grid resist in the game into the breach. So the first thing I'll point out is that a little bit above where my cursor is right now, you can see a box that says grid defense 15%. This means that any time one of your grid buildings is attacked, whether it's by your own unit or by an enemy unit, there's a 15% chance it'll resist the damage that would normally uh, it would normally take. So the first time I attacked it right there, it didn't resist the damage. Um, let's look at the second time. So okay, the second time did actually resist the damage, and then I'll just attack this one building as well. And the third time it took damage, right? So first time it took damage, second time it resisted with that 15% RNG roll, and then the third time it took damage. Now what we can do is actually use the reset that you're given once per map. And what this does is not only reset the positions of all of your units and the enemy's units, but it also resets the exact RNG values that were rolled. So regardless of what buildings are attacked, and whether it's on this map, a different map, or even a different island, the first time a building gets hit, it will take damage, the second time a building gets hit, it will resist that damage, and then the third time it gets hit, it will take damage as well. And so to illustrate what I'm talking about, I'll actually just show you. So I'll just attack this building myself right here, and then end my turn, and what's going to happen is, since this was the first time the building took damage, it took the damage, and when I end my turn, this guy's hit will resist. So let me show you what I mean. There. It was resisted, right? The RNG values are the same, uh, even when you reset the turn, it uses the same values. So the way that you can sort of exploit this RNG system to your advantage is that when the game starts, if you can afford to use a reset turn to kind of mess with the buildings instead of needing to fix your own mistakes, you can actually see if any of the buildings will resist damage from attacks. Then you can of course reset it, um, defeat the enemies, and go on playing like nothing ever happened, but then you have the knowledge of, okay, the first time the building gets hit, it'll take damage, the second time the building gets hit, it will resist that damage. Now this is all pretty useful, but let's say you do this and none of the buildings resist damage. All right? what can you do in that situation? Well, if you really want to exploit this system and push it to the brink, you can just quit the game, start a brand new timeline, and try again. Because every time that you abandon the game and start a brand new timeline, it totally resets the RNG that existed in the previous game. So if you were, for example, trying to start a run where your very first building hit is going to be a grid resist, you can essentially just restart the game and then attack the buildings on your first turn and wait for the first one to be a building resist. So for example, let's try this one. Okay, so that one wasn't a grid resist, so if I were looking to have a grid resist start, I would just abandon the timeline and start all over again. A 15% chance may sound low, but it is like one in six and two thirds. So, you know, you might have to do anywhere from five to 10, six or so starts. Um, but it's actually not too difficult to get a guaranteed grid resist in Into the Breach. All it really takes is the patience to be able to attack buildings on the first turn. Um, if you get good results, use the reset. And if you don't get good results, abandon the timeline and start over. So I'll keep doing this until I find uh, a timeline where the very first damage that a grid takes is resisted, and we can see what that looks like. Okay, let's try here. Okay, so that very first building resisted the damage that I took, which means in this run, the very first time a building is damaged, it's going to resist that damage. So what I can do now is reset the turn and play the game as if I hadn't actually ever done that. So I can do this right here. It's kind of an awkward setup, but I'll just take care of this. Move him there. And now all of a sudden, I have undone the damage that I did and then am just playing the island like normal. All right, so now I've beaten the level without taking any damage. So essentially, I was able to reset the turn, complete the level like normal, but now I have the knowledge that the first time that a building of mine takes damage, whether it's on one of the other maps on this island or on another island altogether, it will resist that damage, which is extremely helpful, not just for any playthrough, but especially so for people trying to do a perfect 30k run where none of the buildings take damage.
The other important thing to keep in mind is that you can actually increase the amount of grid defense you have throughout the game, like I got two for completing a level, three because a pilot got a level up, and I'll get a bunch right here. I just raised my grid defense to 30%, and what happens is every time you raise your grid defense, you can essentially check all the buildings again and see if they would have different outcomes. Okay, so the very first time I did this, I got one grid resist and then three grid damages after that. I did that at 15% grid defense, so let's see what happens when I attack the buildings four times now. Okay, so the first one was still a resist, the second one was still damage. The third one was still damage. And the fourth one was still damaged. So in this particular instance, it didn't matter because the three RNG rolls after the 15% resist were not sufficient enough for a 34% chance to cover them. But, you know, in a lot of instances, one of those three grid damages probably would have turned into a grid resist. And so even though we don't necessarily know what the RNG that the game uses is, it's always worth it to go and check the buildings again anytime your grid defense updates because... You know, if you are sitting at 15% grid defense, and the RNG rolls a 16, that building will take damage. But the second that you get it upgraded to 17, it's worth checking again, because that could be the difference between your run getting destroyed by a building being damaged, or your building resisting that hit and keeping your run intact. So, thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day! Let's see, one, two,